Oh. Hello, Actually, YouTube. Yeah, Sentinel H here, back for more Space Engineers. We've got Jeff Blade today. Say, yeah. Hello. He's changing his mind on his ship. Anyway, we uh, annoying thing was that we recorded yesterday with Water Lover and Vortex, uh, and then the, all the footage got corrupted, and I was really, really bad about that. But uh, so I, <laughs> I've done a, a bit on my ship here. Um, I've, I've added an ejector to the bottom and a connector to the top, and now I'm putting guns on the sides. Uh, and uh, and so what are you gonna do over there? I just weld my ship until it's finished. Alright, so yeah, he's decided he wants to like change the design and do something else. Water Lover finished his, his welding drone. Um, so that's pretty cool. Alright, let's get this started. So yeah, I got my new video card, so Medieval Engineers is going to come soon. I was kind of hoping I'd get better uh, frames in this game, but I think it's down... I think that's down to the um, CPU, because that's where the physics rendering for this game happens. So I'm pretty sure that I would need to... Uh, get a better um, CPU in order to improve that, which I can't do, because in order to upgrade my uh, processor, I have to put a whole new motherboard in, because the socket uh -huh. the socket was discontinued in 2002. 12, I mean. <laughs> oh, Intel. Well, actually, you can actually replace a socket holder. It's pretty you simple. You can't put a new CPU socket on a motherboard, dude. I've done it. I highly doubt it. I'll prove it to you. You need a decider. Um, I, I, I'm. And there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that. Okay. I know I, I failed up like six times on each one. Besides, I think there's a problem there with the firmware. See, so control P. Oh, no, there, there it is. There's my color. Hmm. Paint it. Painted. This looks very weird now. So I'm putting just like yeah. this. <laughs> I need some steel. Alright, come on. Right there. Oh, don't call me now, jeez. <laughs> right when we start, there. someone calls me now. <laughs> That's gonna get really annoying. Okay, stop. Hopefully no one calls me on Skype to just realize that once again I forgot to set it on uh, to a disturb. <laughs> I always forget to do that. And now we put the same kind of protective shroud on this side. <clears throat> Gotta protect your guns. So I was really sad the other day when I heard that Leonard Nimoy died. Spock! Oh. Star Trek. Spock. This is Spock. Oh, wait. The real character? No, the guy who played the character. The actor. Oh. The new one. He died the other day. Or, I don't know if he died yesterday or the day before, but I heard about it yesterday. That was sad. You're too young to, to have watched Star Trek, aren't you? No, I, I have watched <laughs> a lot of Star Trek. Cool. It's a good movie. I mean, I, I'm talking about the TV show. Oh, yeah, or the Voyager. No, the original one. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen almost the original all of them. The original one is William Shatner as Captain Kirk. Yeah. It's one of the most important, one of the most influential TV shows, I think, on the walls high. What happened to all the steel plates I was making? Sorry. Oh, I know we both need steel plates. I can barely see anything, jeez. This hologram hurts my eyes. Yeah, it's, they're a bit, uh, they can be a bit funky. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're, uh, you're re- I'm gonna start. Okay, okay top dog, stop calling me, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop calling me. <laughs> oh, come on, I need to weld that, please. Why are these, why are these red? They should be yellow or green. Because they're connected to a Gatling gun, which, which uh, Here it gets, is yeah. compatible with. Uh... Oh, because you have to go in there and you have to turn on. Okay, so I'm in the ship. Now I have to go in and turn on. This is some serious lag here. 
Stop calling me, Jay. Ah, this very system is already. So how come these are red? Oh well, they can stay red. Anyway, this ship is now a thing. I'm not sure how useful it is though. So. It's a cargo ship. Okay. Which oh, okay. right now we don't really need. But I just like the design of it, so I'm gonna build it and I'll be modifying it. So now it's got guns. So now it's basically a fighter. With cargo. Cargo fighter. Right, so, you know, it's a cargo ship that can defend itself. It's pretty neat. It's, of course it can't defend itself because they have no ammo for it. Whatever. Um What do I wanna do now? So I, I hooked up a collector to the base, so that's a thing. Um, this, uh, I need to put a, um, oh yeah, we need to put an antenna on the base. We need to put an antenna on the base so that we can, come on, oh, it just automatically orientates. Let's go back, let's go to a nice, um, gray colored just slap this down somewhere. Kinda wanna put it somewhere. Why can't I put it there? Oh there's a curse place. There's a nice there. I kinda wanna put it somewhere that makes sense, but at the same time I don't know if there is such a place. We put it right on top of this assembly, but I don't want to do that. I think it's too close to that. I wish that you could I wish that there was a smaller antenna that you could use for stations as well. But I yeah. suppose maybe it's a balance thing. Because if you if there was, why would you use the big one? Ever. You would never use it. Alright, let's get an antenna. In the uh assembly. Production. Large blocks. Don't need to make the construction components. Or the computers. We do need to make the antenna components. Okay, so that's going. What else to do? Well, I suppose. I'm already on raw materials. How are we on this? 35,000. That's pretty good. We're still refining uranium and we've got... Why is there uranium in this stuff? Heck of I know. <laughs> oh, I know why. Because Vortex made some missiles, so the uh, assembler pulled a bunch of uranium. So we've got so much uranium now in this reactor, we won't like ever have to worry about anything. Ooh, oh. I, just got a, I just got a steam message, but unfortunately I can't view it for some reason. My steam overlay doesn't seem to be working. It's basically right now, which is very oh. annoying. I don't know why. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. And I wish that it always works. Are we gonna take apart that ship right there? Uh, yeah. Uh, do we have a grinding chip yet? Yeah, no, he put, that's a welding chip. Right there. If we put a grinder on, on, on the ship, go ahead and do that. I could slap the grinder on the front of mine. Of course, my ship's a bit too fast in the forward direction, and a bit too slow in the other directions to really be a good grinder ship. You really need, like, a more balanced thrust to turn it around a lot. This ship, my ship only really goes fast Okay, so let's need the rest of these components. Construction components, large steel tubes. Um, I got no steel plate darn. I think we have more computers. Oh, that's a cool little ship. I can actually use the uh, door on this computer. Large steel tubes. 
large steel tubes. Small steel tubes. So I was building, I was working on building stuff in the evil engineers the other day. And the uh, structural integrity system is a bit warm. Okay. Um, because things will break for a very weird reason. Um, like, everything was fine. Like, it wasn't messing up or anything. Like, it was, it was fine. Then I placed a pe one piece of wooden floor. And suddenly, the wooden floor around it that used to be fine exploded. And I was like, what? <laughs> People have made some really amazing stuff in the workshop for medieval engineers using structural integrity on. Like, I was quite impressed. I, th I saw this one castle and I was like, there's no way structural integrity was took out. And he's in, in the comment for the Steam Workshop page, he's like, Hold on, dude. Okay, I'm back. And on the Steam Workshop page, he's like, oh, by the way, structural integrity is on. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. What? That, that surprised me. Oh, and then, uh, your building collapsed so or something? Cool. No, the whole thing never collapsed, uh, which won't happen. It's only because it's, I mean, the, the, my structure that I'm working on has a fundamentally strong base. Uh, the problem is just the, uh, let's see, what's the range on this ore refinery? So it's, Ore detector. It's showing uranium, iron, and it's showing platinum. Uh, uranium, magnesium. Okay, so yeah, um, but what was happening was like I was trying to put a roof on it. Uh, it's that's not going to be easy. <clears throat> I, I managed to get a slope roof on it, uh, but man, the structural integrity uh, is, on some of the parts is in the orange now. So if I'm not too, if I'm not careful, it's going to fall apart. Uh, and the problem with uh, building and creative uh, in medieval engineers, if you have rubble turned on, is that there's currently no way to get rid of rubble. So you have to turn the rubble off. Bit, but I guess when you're building something, you don't really care about the rubble. Because it, it just gets in the way. Yeah, yeah. So, you, so you turn rubber off. Ru rubber. <laughs> you turn rubber off. You turn rubble off. And it works. So, do you want me to load up a ton of uh, steel plates into this... Um, Welder ship and come help you. Yeah, that would be nice. Now, ideally, what I think would be cool would be to build a welding boom that is uh, that has a rotor on it uh, that is attached directly to the inventory system, so that uh, as you are producing resources. Or you could use a yeah. connector uh, with a gyroscope. As uh, the system's producing resources, it automatically goes into the. Um, <clears throat> it automatically goes into the. Um, oh yeah, this is a drone, isn't it? Oh no, but you can you can actually pilot it from this. Uh, seat for some reason. Make hots. <laughs> so why you call it? What does it do? Control. Alright. It's weird that I can control it. Hello. This is a very weird ship. Alright, you want me to come help you weld that bit? Alright. Yeah. Go. Or just weld any part of the ship. Okay. Jeez. Oh, you're pushing oh. it, dude. Thank you. I need more steel plates, so... Oh, why am it's I lagging? It's probably slow right now. Yeah, it's probably because I'm lagging bad. Maybe it's the welders. It seems to be going well, at least. But yeah, I quite like these. Although, I've already noticed that there are some blocks that, that they showed in the uh, preview video from Evil Engineers that aren't actually currently in the game. Like, there was, like there was a corner block for the uh, stone ceiling. 
that was in the that that the develop that you saw the guy in the video place. Those aren't in the game yet. Okay. But from what I understand, there are hidden blocks. There are blocks that are in the code, but they're not enabled yet. I guess we oh, have to work uh, on them some more. Well, there is actually a way since it's already yeah. In the there game, there are mods on the workshop them. that uh, that have uh, added them in. They're not textured. It's a problem. Okay. Oh, you're still pushing it. Yeah, because it's really hard not to. Well, it's actually okay because we have a lot of space here. Until you hit the other shit button. It's really hard not to push it. Well... Well... Why don't you do that and I fix something else? Because that is way more efficient. Probably gonna run out. I mean, do I still have steel plates in here? No, it's out of, it's out of steel plates. Okay, I have some with me, so how do I put it access in? access the connector. Oh, okay, in the back, okay. Okay. But you have you have one hundred third. Uh, you have two hundred oh five now. But they're not in the well. No, it automatically feeds into the welders when the welders need them. Okay. Well, you have two hundred oh five now. Now I wonder if we should actually put guns on the ship as well, so if we go out there, we can shoot down the Well, good asteroids. luck trying to freehand shoot them. You would need a turret, an automatic gathering turret. You can't put those on small ships. Oh, yeah. Oh, darn. Yeah. I just now Good luck trying that. to do it by hand. I think you could probably see them, but I don't know if you could react in time to actually uh, shoot them. Okay. I mean, you could always. So like, I'd have to be quick. Cool try and see if your yeah, see true. if your first person shooter uh, reflexes are good enough. <laughs> uh, well, do well, do well. So yeah, it just doesn't seem like anything's going my way recently. Um, the only thing that's really gone my way recently was uh, that a video guard showed up when I was supposed to. Because in the Shadow Chapter Let's Play, I can't find any diamonds. Uh, space Engineers got corrupted. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... Stuff you gotta deal with. Some people want structural integrity to come to uh, space engineers, but I'm not so sure if you need it because you could always make the argument that the uh, materials you're using are advanced and more and stronger. Although you can't really make that claim because you've already said that it's steel. But there are so many different mm -hmm. kinds of steel. You could argue that the steel that you're using is like super high tensile strength, so you don't need to worry about it. Although, since you're in space anyway, there's no gravity, you wouldn't really have to worry about it. So only once they add planets with gravity, that, that becomes an issue. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's finally, it's almost fully welded. Yay. Um, I'll weld the parts that you have missed. Yeah, I the guess. welders do tend to miss stuff. Yeah. Because it takes a while, a lot more time. I can do more at a time. Well, that part went sense. fast. Holy cow. That part right there went super fast. It was just like... Bruh! The welders, welding ships are great. Mm 
Guardship while they're saying Oh, 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 oh. Don't get too close to the well there, it'll kill you. You, I have 20 health left. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, welding, Jeez, that welding torches are not uh, the friendliest of device. It's kind of funny that you do use uh, torches. Just welding torches, because... But they're electric. We're, we're like electric welding in space. That's yeah. probably how you do it. But I don't know, what are the physics up there? Did this thing used to have a rotor for the like rotor doors on it, or are the sides here just supposed to be open? It's just supposed to be open. I'll put more in your back. So, hold on. Hold still. There you go. Survival in medieval engineers is be so fun. I can't wait for them to add oxygen yeah. to space engineers. It, they already have put cannibals in No, it's about bearing now. No, it's not way. the same thing. Yeah, barbarians aren't necessarily cannibals. They're just Maybe. barbarians. Oh, black. It really just means they don't have a rigid uh, social structure. Need large steel tubes in order to weld these uh, engines. Oh, okay, I'll just do the main parts. I just want you to do the outside and the shell and everything. That's all. I just hope there's nothing that's supposed to be inside these things that you can't get to. It's the uh, plates are welded. I'll just grind in and then put it back then. <clears throat> like I'm wondering where are the gyros on this ship? It's inside. Welders don't seem to be able to get to the. Uh... We're lagging badly. It's, it's all the welding. Oh, that, it finally made it. It's all the welding. I'm not. I'm not really lagging. Okay. Well, I'm not lagging. I just block welding lag. So I need steel tubes and hold on. Steel tubes, our tubes. Well, this. Yeah. Progress. I'm hitting the, uh, the wall, that's why I can't do anything that way. Meteor storm Meteor storm down. Oh jeez, lag it again. Well, baby. Yeah. Oh no! I think we 
lost him. Hello? Ah, we lost him. No. No. That's him too. I can't uh answer it. <coughs> oh Skype, you troll you. I swear, I'm being trolled so hard by my by the computers recently. They're just like, no you will not. Is he even in the game anymore? Did he lose? Well? I can't look at my steam overlay. Why is the steam overlay not working as well? It's very strange. The steam overlay should work. Oh well. Episode almost over anyway. I'm sorry guys. I, it's just, nothing is working right. <laughs> But Medieval Engineer's video coming soon. That'll make up for it all. I hope. I hope you guys like it. <laughs> oh, the struggles. The struggles are real. Oh, all those. So now I'll talk to you, the subscribers watching the video. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <coughs> Can't recording. <laughs> I suppose I could pause the recording and go and do that. Yes, that's what Like, because what might happen is Fraps might not want to work anymore and they wouldn't have enough footage. But, yeah, they're, they're pretty much done anyway. You know, you know, you want everything to work right, but then it just doesn't. It doesn't work right. And it's frustrating. Highly frustrating. Alright, that's good. You know, I think we've done pretty good here. This is, uh... The majority of this stuff is welded up. This is good stuff. I mean, this ship, you know, welding ships, you can't underestimate the power of welding ships. They really, they really weld a lot faster than you can ever weld manually. Just because of the AOE. Oh, yeah, plenty of stuff to weld on this side. Yeah! Progress! Stuff to be loaded. Heaven above. Yeah, there's a lot of unusual, um, sort of like, well be lag going on. But they are working on improving the uh, network code and stuff. So don't don't let anybody ever say that Keen isn't working on making the multiplayer better. Because they totally are. It's just not an easy fix. It's like completely rewriting that code it takes uh, quite some time. Quite some time. Come on, keep welding.
I mean, it's welding, but the blocks aren't changing. and get welded. <laughs> a lot of welding to do in the interior. It's coming along pretty well, though. So anyway, I'm going to end the episode. Um, I hope it was enjoyable, at least. Um, I'm just getting really frustrated with these crashes and stuff. Perhaps isn't really as reliable as it used to be. But anyway, guys, uh, I don't mean to complain a whole lot, but that's what I'm going through here. So anyway, uh, the Evil Engineers video coming soon. Um, Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. See you in future episodes. I'm Seth Lynch, and I'm Seth Lynch.